Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Stephen King's It Steelbook unboxing, blah, 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 the usual. I'm sure you've seen a couple of these by now. Um, it's not release day right now. I just, I ended up getting it late, and then it was delayed in the mail, and blah, blah, blah. Here we are. So, this is, excuse me, and I got this from Best Buy. I think I got the majority of the Steelbooks that I get recently from Best Buy. I know this was available at um, FYE, surprisingly. So I thought this was going to be an exclusive to Best Buy, but I fucking, I guess not. Um, yeah, anyway, how about I unbox it, or open wrap it, or whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. la -dee da I watched this for the first time ever, a couple of years ago, and... Um, <laughs> I really liked the, the recent movie that came out last year. I um, thought it was fun. This... The first part, because it's a two-part, like, mini-series, a limited series, from 1990, I believe. Um, the first part with the kids, just like the movie, so far, anyway, was actually not terrible, not bad. The, the acting wasn't bad and all that, but the, the second half was with the adults, with John Ritter and everything. It was just, um, it wasn't great. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me. That seems to be a fairly common consensus, though, that the, the second half with the adults is not the best. Um, and I'll be honest, too, um, Tim Curry as Pennywise, while a bright spot in the film or, or series or whatever, it's still um, incredibly hammy and um, a little dated now. I don't know if that was written, the way it was written in the book. I did read, I read about a third, maybe, of the fucking giant tome of a book. And it was pretty cool and very well done, I thought. A good a Stephen King book that I've read anyway. But again, I'm still mainly in the kids' section, and it goes back and forth and stuff, but it's um, it's been a while since I read it. I think I read it last year before the movie came out, and it's on my shelf somewhere now, but I didn't get back to it yet. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling, but uh, the best part about the entire film or series is definitely uh, Tim Curry's Pennywise, and even that, especially in comparison to the recent um, Bill Skarsgård version. I, I think his version is better, but that's probably just a set of, uh, because of the times in 1990, he was incredibly hammy and weird, and it was kind of, you know, weird. There's a red disc, and there's a picture of Pennywise being fucking creepy as shit. I will say that, though, he was much, um, it was a different kind of creepy versus Bill Skarsgård's version. Um, he was acting like a real clown, I would say, and Bill Skarsgård just is, looks like a clown because that's the image he, he took. He, um... He's a creepy fucking monster alien type thing. I don't know what his history is. Let's take a look at this here. I like this image in the back. This is kind of nice with the balloons. It's almost metallic looking too, but I don't think it is. It's a nice image on the front though too, with a picture of his giant forehead. And his uh, big red nose. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, Richie. Anyway, just rambling like usual. Um, this was, I think it was fourteen ninety nine, something like that. Um, maybe they were twelve ninety nine. I hope they were twelve ninety nine because it seems expensive. I actually own this too. I've said this a couple times when I've unboxed these um, um, these more recent Halloween ones, but uh, I do already own this, and I'm gonna have to sell that, I guess. I don't know. Figure it out. So I have another copy of it. I have another copy of it, as they say. Okay, usual. Thanks for watching, guys. This was fun. The image is kind of growing on me now. I kind of like the look of it. It's nice. But um, Thanks for watching, guys. There's more stuff coming, like usual. And stick around if you want to see it. And I'll see you again later. Thanks for watching. Bye.